We asked Pompeo to join us tonight, and though he rarely turns down a televised interview, he refused to come. We hope he will reconsider. In the meantime, we are happy to be joined tonight by New York Post columnist Miranda Devine. Miranda, thank you so much for coming on. I don't think we've paused long enough to consider what this means. After 60 years, when every person involved is dead, we can't see classified information about a, maybe the pivotal event in modern American history. And now we know why. Well, Tucker, look, you laid it out really well. And, you know, it used to be that conservatives like me dismissed uh, theories from the left about JFK's assassination as just left-wing conspiracy theories. But over time, uh, I think that the left looks as if they were quite justified in not trusting yes. the intelligence services. And I think the WMD pretext for the Iraq war was a red pill, a slowly dawning red pill for me. Um, and so now you just have to look just on, on a really basic level. You just look at the fact that 30 years ago, Congress, in a unanimous, bipartisan, uh, unequivocal, unambiguous decision said that these, all the JFK files have to be made public. Absolutely no reason to keep them back. As you say, it's almost 60 years ago. Everybody involved is dead. You're not worried about sullying uh, reputations or unmasking a spy overseas. No, there, there can only be two reasons for it. One is that you're trying to protect the CIA against... Um, allegations or, or revelations that it knew more than it made out about Lee Harvey Oswald. It had a huge file on him. They were investigating him or, or in, connect, in, in contact with him before the assassination and they didn't do enough to save JFK or protect the president. But, but you know, is that enough to really keep this secret going for 60 no. years? I mean, no. the terrible dawning recognition is that really this is about, as you said, protecting the institution. If the CIA was involved in that assassination, that is the reason that you would want to keep that from the American people, because the fury that would erupt, and this is a bipartisan fury, it'd be the one thing that That's would right. unite Americans, is an absolute rage at this unaccountable spy agency that is, uh, has decided that it is going to get involved in murdering, assassinating the duly elected American president? For what reason? Um, you know, there would be such a clean out of the CIA. I don't know if it would even survive. And so the trust in our institutions is already at rock bottom. I think it's a mistake for Mike Pompeo not to come on your show because all this does is fuel more conspiracy theories. The truth is the best disinfectant. And if the CIA did do this, was involved 60 years ago, then it needs to come clean. We need to have a reckoning. And just to be clear, that was the assessment of someone we spoke to who was directly and personally familiar with the contents of these documents, not someone who read it on the internet. This is someone who had access to the documents. And I have to say, I don't understand, and I agree with you, secrecy abets evil. And the more secrecy you have, the more evil you're likely to have. Um, so we should minimize the amount of secrecy as a general matter. But I don't understand how John Brennan can go on NBC News every day. He was on today. And no one pauses and asks, like, what is this exactly? 60 years, really? And don't give me the sources and methods BS, by the way, son. Like, we're, we're adults here. What's the real reason? Why does no one ask him that? Well, uh, the more we see characters from the CIA like John Brennan, like those 51 former intelligence officials who signed that scurrilous letter about Hunter Biden being Russian disinformation, uh, the, more, the, the less impressive they look. These people are in the shadows for a reason, because if you actually saw who they were, look at John Brennan. Would you, knowing what we know now about him, would you really entrust him uh, to run the the country's premier spy agency, to have such power to run around the world intervening in other countries' elections? No. So uh, I, I, I just don't know what good it does us to have those kind of malevolent people having so much power and using it in our name and causing us all great harm because we don't know what they're doing. That's right. Transparency can fix it. It's the only thing they can. And I appreciate your assessment today. Marina Devine of the New York Post, thank you. 
Thanks, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.